Oh, hey. How's it going? Okay, let's do something cool. Hey guys, I'm Clay Mosley, and before we get into the video, I want you to give the love on this video, and that could be like, comment, share, follow, whatever platform you're on. Okay, so I know you're, if you're watching this, you're a business owner, and I know, I know for a fact that you've gone through some slumps, especially like right now. So like, if you're watching this, the, the time I'm recording this is during COVID, COVID-19, pandemic or whatever, everybody's having, most everybody's having a bit of a sales slump at this point. And so I wanted to go over some things that could help because like having a sales slump is the worst thing ever. Okay, so I remember, I remember a couple of years ago, I, I, I was in a sales slump, and it, which is super terrible for me. It feels super bad because like, that's what I do, I sell. And, and I'm not very good at, at very many things, but I, I'm good at selling. And so it had been like three months since I got a new client. After three months, I start going like, like, uh, why can't I get a client? Like, it's so frustrating. So I tried this like one little tactic and all I did was I sent an email out to my list. The subject line was, hey, how's it going? And the body of the text was, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I that's all I said you know I've tried it a couple more times and I, I've improved on that and so now I feel like I can give you the five parts of the hey how's it going formula part number one is you gotta send the email you, you gotta have an email list right if you don't have an email list then uh, you know I don't know what to tell you you can't really try this formula if you just sat down for a couple hours you could probably come up with a list of names like go th and actually go through your email inbox go through your email inbox uh, and, and look up all of your prospects and old clients but what I did is if you have an email list you send an email. In this particular formula, you can send a mass email with your email marketing service because there are other formulas where I suggest not to do that. So you can send an email out to your list. Part number one is yes, you can send an email out to your list. Part number two is make sure that this email is unbranded. So what I mean by that is don't have your logo anywhere. Don't have all of these like graphics or like graphic stuff anywhere on this email. The only thing branded that needs to be in this email is your name and your like basically your email signature at the bottom. That's it. That's it. Do not formulate this in like a, a traditional newsletter. If you're one of those traditional newsletter people go like go take my email course or my email challenge. So do this as an unbranded text only email because you know why? Because it looks personal and it doesn't look like a bulk email. The third thing to this, hey, how's it going formula is when you send this email, you gotta be ready to respond. You gotta be ready to respond. If you send this out to your list of 2,000 people or even 1,000 or even 500, or if you have 10,000 people, it doesn't matter how many you got on here, just block off an amount of time for you to respond. If you're gonna send this out at 9 a.m. in the morning, I would leave a three to four hour block of time that day, right after the email gets sent out, to be ready to respond to these people. Because let me tell you, you will get everybody's story. Everybody's story. You will get so many responses. There will be people who just, they won't respond at all. There's gonna be people that'll just say, everything's good, how's it going? And there, there's gonna be some people who have been waiting their entire life for your email so that they can unload the entire book of their life story so they can have somebody to talk to. And you know what? That person is you right there at that day and time and you better be ready to f respond. Bleep that out. So the fourth thing in this formula is not only should you be ready to respond, you better be ready to respond genuinely. You do not need to respond with any kind of sales response. I know that's the purpose of this email, right? Of the, hey, how's it going? I need more sales type purpose. Deep down, that's what it is. But to the people on your email list, you better not respond in a salesy way and say, hey, how's it going? Oh, th things are going great. How are things with you? Oh, just fine. I wanted to follow up and see if you wanted to get those business cards ordered, or I wanted to follow up to see if you wanted to start care in my chiropractic clinic. No, don't do that because that is going to shut people off. You need to respond in a genuine way. And when I mean in a genuine way, when that email that takes you, it takes you three hours to read, 
You better read every single word of that email and you better respond in a genuine way. And the fifth and last part of this hey has it going formula is, I already mentioned it, is to not bring up sales at all in these emails, in your replies. What I mean by that is respond genuinely, that's part four, but you're probably asking, okay, well, I'm sending this because I need to get sales. Like when should I actually respond to get sales? The only time you should respond at all with a sales response if, if somebody actually asks you, and I promise you, somebody will. Okay, so if you're in a sales slump, this is what you do. You send the email, send, send it really simple, text only, unbranded, hey, how's it going in the subject line, hey, how's it going in the body, and you block your time off in your calendar to respond, and respond genu genuinely, and you respond with no sales unless they ask. And then when they ask, you take the money.